welcome back to my channel happy new year i feel like um it's been a while i've filmed i don't even know what i'm doing anymore i don't know how to go about this anymore because i feel like it's months it's months since i've picked up my camera to film like this so happy new year guys if you are new here i'm kenny make sure you are subscribed to my channel i really appreciate that and if you are already subscribed to my channel thank you thank you for coming back i'm really sorry i'm really sorry for my for going a wall on you guys and that's because i've been busy with school i had a lot of essays to write and work and family life and all that everything just got kind of busy and i could not even pick up the camera to like do stuff that i would normally do but things are settling down now i'm having like extra time to myself now so i think i'm ready to pick up the camera and do my thing again so thank you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here like i said i'm kenny make sure you subscribe to my channel to join this little slowly growing family okay guys don't let me ramble too much as you've already seen from the title today's video is straight to the point i'm gonna be coloring my hair yeah yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing it's a big and um decision for me i've been itching to color my hair now for about year and a half almost two years and recently i'm just kind of bored like i'm just bored with it with this hair i don't know what to do with it i've not done anything to eat since i took out which protest which protective style that i have last and the cornrow and beads i had last since i took it out i've not done anything to my hair and i've been like itching to color it since then even before then i've been itching to color my hair so i just felt like i think this is like the best time for me to do it because it's a new year and you know new year new decisions <laughs> all right although i've already been like planning to do this thing so i feel like let me just make this big and huge change in this new year so I've got the dye I'm gonna be using and other things I'm gonna be using which are right there just I'm really really anxious to see what I'm gonna look like once I color my hair because this is the first time I'm gonna be doing something like this to my hair I've never colored my hair in my whole entire life I've never got any color in my hair in my whole entire life so this is the first time I've not I don't think I've ever got like a big color in my hair even extension or like braids or that i've not even done that before so i feel like this is going to be like a big change to me like i don't know what i'm going to look like afterwards i don't know what my hair is going to look like i'm not even as scared for my hair as i'm scared of how i'm going to look like after doing this like coloring like i said this is the first time i'm going to be having like that kind of like drastic change in my look i'm scared for my hair um as well because like i said i've not done this kind of thing to my hair and i've been like growing my hair since 2014 and like five years into my hair journey i decide to color it and i feel like i feel like i'm doing something harmful to my hair like my hair is gonna be damaged but i still don't care like I still don't care i want to color my hair so much that i know that my hair is going to be damaged but i still don't care because i feel like if it's damaged i'm just gonna like chop it all off and start all over again like i'm just gonna rock the tw here like i grow my hair out again so don't let me ramble too much that's all i'm gonna be doing today i'm gonna be using the i'm gonna be using the um cream of nature uh moisture rich air color with sheer butter conditioner that the air color from the air dye the box dye from cream of nature and the color i'm using is c41 honey blonde i checked everywhere like in store in the uk where i can get this there was none unless on e uh, on amazon so i got those four boxes on amazon for i think about 22 pound or something and um, three boxes sorry i got these three boxes on amazon for about 22 pound or thereabout which i think it's ridiculously expensive compared to like the prices i see in um for this here that in america that is that is the situation of things in uk things are like multiple in price compared to america when it comes to buying things like this because most of them are usually available in on amazon even in store they're more expensive than you would get them in america like most products most air products most beauty products that like originally um produced in america or like the company the 
company in america when you're getting them here in the uk in store online they're usually more expensive so i got three boxes for 22 pound which i think if i'm getting the three boxes in america will be less than 10 pound so um yeah so i'm just gonna follow the instruction i've not even i, I just watched like a couple of videos on youtube to see like how other people like did it ask for some um advice on my instagram page i asked other people that followed their hair for advice and i watched youtube videos lots of youtube videos to see what people have done what their advice is check the comment section to see what people that watch the video the advice they're giving as well so that i can put all that and make sure that my hair is not like too damaged when i'm coloring it and like get some tips here and there to see and you know because i don't know what i'm doing this is the first time i'll be doing this like i said ah uh, so let's just get into it i'm gonna go color my hair in the bathroom because i don't want to mess up my beautiful living room <laughs> so i'm gonna go color it in the bathroom so if you like to see how i color my hair and other products i'm gonna be using and all that just keep watching okay guys so this is my hair it's thick it's fussy it's it will be dead sick because it's been a while i washed it so i'm gonna put it in sections so i have my hair in six sections because it's really dense so i want to put it in like the six sections so it's like easy for me to work with it and this is the hair dye i'm gonna be using it's like i said it's the um cream of nature only blonde c41 i got it from amazon i've talked about all that so i'm opening it now i've not even i've not read the instruction or anything like that so this is it it came with the moisture rich air color which it says uh, number two, I don't understand this. It says number two, and this is the developer, the cream color developer, which is number one. It comes with that, and which is this applicator bottle, which I guess is you're gonna put the number one, the number two, and number one mixed together and apply it to your hair. It's like um, a post color um, treatment conditioner that you're supposed to use after applying the two colors. So this is the conditioner that came with it much so this should be enough for about maybe one third of my hair i guess as much as i bought three so this is like the um what's this? the instruction reflect if you can call it that with helpful tips so i'm just gonna like scan through it to see what i'm supposed to do so it came with gloves which are the permission reflect so this is the glove that you're supposed to use to apply it so i'll be back according to instruction i'm gonna put this is the number one i'm gonna open it up this is the number one the developer and this is the number two which is like the hair color itself so I'm going to put the air color in the developer. I think it's pretty easy. Before cutting off the tip, I'm going to shake it off. I'm going to shake it off. So I'm going to prepare all three bottles so that I'm not stopping in between to prepare the bottles. So that's the first bottle I'm going to do. I've prepped the three bottles I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using my own glove because I trust it better. And I know that, you know, it's going to fit better. So I'm going to be using my own glove. <laughs> I'm anxious. Breathe in. Breathe out. It's a decision I've made consciously. So... I just need to be responsible for it and go through with it so i'm gonna use this huge towel to cover myself to you know prevent any dye just pulling on me so i'm gonna start in the front because i want concentration of the color in the front section of my hair 
Um, I was thinking of using a method where I just curl like the end falls, then come back to the to the root of my hair. But I feel like it's gonna take forever, so I'm gonna shake this as much as I can. Let me take the first one I did. <laughs> I'm gonna see, shake it as much as I can, and I'm gonna cut the end off. It's coming out. <laughs> Let's do this. So. Okay guys, so on the packet, it's recommended that you leave the dye in for about 25 to 30 minutes But I left it in for almost one hour now because I really want like as much um, Color as as I can get but midway when I checked it I noticed that this side the dye didn't reach like the hair dye didn't reach this side and also some part air so I just squeezed out the remaining in the bottle and then I put it there so this is what my hair is looking like now let's see um, you will notice that I miss some spot or not because when I was checking see as you can see somewhere here I miss some spot but other than that like my hair feels amazing no I don't I can't notice like I've not noticed any damage or any breakage in my hair. I usually just have the single strand knots, anyways. So you can this color you can easily like see my curls definition. That is one of the main reasons I want to color my hair because I want to do more wash and go than twist out. But with wash and go when my hair was dark, I noticed that I can't really see the color definition. But I noticed that most people when their hair is colored, you can actually see like the curl formation and definition so that is like one of the major reasons i color my hair so that when i do my wash and go you'd be able to like see my call my call pattern that is what i'm looking for my call pattern more yeah 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 and again i was bored with the black hair i'm really really loving that my husband loves it so that is a big plus <laughs> 
yeah so that is my hair i'm really really loving this color like it just matches my skin tone so that it matches my skin tone and complements my skin tone really really well which is something i am looking which is something i'm looking to watch and i got that as well so it's a big plus so yeah that is my hair this is the color i got like i can't ask for more i'm just like really really excited right now that is my baby crying oh, i'm just like really really excited right now with this color yeah so that's the guy so now i'm gonna rinse the color out use my color safe shampoo and um do the olaplex treatment Okay, so this is my hair after washing out the hair dye and using the color safe shampoo from Share Moisture, the multi fruit something complex shampoo, which is color safe from Share Moisture. So the next treatment that I'm going to be using, which is recommended by a lot of people, is the Ola Plates number three. So I'm just going to put it in my hair and I'm going to let it sit overnight. Great! I was expecting my hair to feel like flimsy but my hair feels really strong. I had like the tiniest amount of breakage like I'm going to show you guys. I was expecting to, I was expecting breakage and my hair looking and feeling flimsy but no, my hair doesn't look because I just take care of my hair normally, you know. So I'm gonna do the Olaplex treatment. I'm gonna add more because I want every strand of my hair covered, especially the back section. Like, goodness, eh? So this is the Olaplex treatment. I'm gonna leave it in my hair all night. Although it says you should leave it for about 10 minutes, but a lot of people say they leave it in all night, which I don't think it's gonna do any harm. So I'm going to leave it in my hair overnight and yeah, honestly I'm really low with this hair like I just love this color. <laughs> so I'm going to cover my head now so that the Olaplex can really do whatever it's supposed to do and I'm going to go to bed with the Olaplex. Pray for my pillow please. Pray for my pillow please. Bye guys okay guys so like i said i left the like i said i left the um, what's the name again the treatment in my hair all night um olaplex treatment in my hair all night and i'm ready to rinse it off it's just um a treatment recommended by many people when you color your hair to minimize damage and all that so that is why I did it and a lot of people recommending you put it in your hair as long as possible so that was why I left it in overnight and I left it for more than 12 hours which I assume that the treatment would have like penetrated my hair to do whatever it's supposed to do repair any damage and you know So I just rinsed the treatment out of my hair and as you can see that's my hair 
it still looks really really healthy to me like I don't see any difference in my hair but just the color like enhances my color definition like it just makes my comb pattern more visible that's the only like visible difference I can say in my hair so I'm gonna go in with one more shampoo I'm even regretting buying the shampoo because I have like quite a lot of um, sheer moisture shampoo which claim to be color safe as well but you know when people recommend something I just like to like get it because some people recommend that the shampoo is like one of the best for color treated hair and um, yeah well this morning I just went through my hair stash and I found that I have like three other shea moisture shampoos that claim to be color safe as well and I'm moisturizing shampoos so I'm regretting buying the shampoo but not regretting it all the way because you know <laughs> I'm still gonna use all of them anyways so I'm just gonna like shampoo my hair one more time to get rid of any color lingering or anything like that so before I go into do a deep treatment the Okay guys so um to deep condition my hair i'm gonna be using um the conditioners that came in the air dye pack the three conditioners that came in the three boxes i use so i'm gonna squeeze them out and use them after squeezing the three out um they're not enough to use for me and they're not enough to cover all of my head anyways and also i already prepared that i'm gonna use the share moisture jbco um deep treatment the hair mask i've already um prepared that i'm going to use it in addition to any hair mask i'm using anyways because it's one of the recommended hair mask for color treated hair so i'm going to take more of that of the hair mask and i'm going to add it to the um conditioners that came in the box dye and i'll add my diy with shea butter for more shine and moisture and nourishment and also on it as well just to put as much of every nutrient i can put in my hair as possible then i'm going to mix everything together and apply it to my hair So my, this has been in my hair uh, uh, for almost an hour now and I think it should be well conditioned by now and yeah so I use those treatments that came in the dye box as well as the Shea Moisture um, JBCO hair mask only and my whipped shea butter just to give my hair as much nourishment as necessary you know try to minimize damage as much as so here's my hair after all the treatment So I'm going to be doing um, a wash and go, just simple. <laughs> I'm going to be using the uh, JBCO leave-in conditioner for Shea, from Shea Moisture. I'm going to use that to moisturize my hair. I'm also going to go in with the Cole Anson Smoothie from Shea Moisture to also moisturize my hair. everything in and add shine to my hair i'm gonna use my whip share button i'm gonna take this much of it i'm just gonna like put it to my hair to add shine okay guys this is my hair done and styled in a wash and go like you saw me did in the shower so i'm just waiting for my hair to be completely dry as you can see there's still some products in it but all in all this is my hair this is the color i came out with 
honestly i'm quite happy with this color i would have loved it if it's um lighter than this honestly i would have loved if it's lighter than this but this color i really like it as i said it complements my uh, my skin tone really well like they just blends in with my skin tone which you know i can't complain about yeah but i would have really loved it if it's lighter than this or more yellow if i got like a more yellow color this is the color i came out with like i said i love it i'm not complaining too much yeah and i would have loved it if it's like if it has more yellow in it i think i'm gonna uh, put in some highlights in a couple of months i'm just like i'm gonna put in a little bit of highlight in it with like the light golden color i'm gonna use it to highlight it and you know not like in the couple in the next couple of weeks i'm just gonna use the next couple of weeks to work on my hair health deep condition do treatment and just make sure that the health the health of my hair is like maintained like that's that's my main goal now i've got the color i want now my main goal is to maintain the health of my hair with every treatment that i can think of i was expecting to have some breakage in my hair once i washed the color out but honestly see that's all i got this morning when i was in the shower like this is everything that okay guys so that is that for today's video that is that for me putting some color in my hair i hope you enjoyed today's video if you have any tips or any advice for me let me know in the comment section below i'll really appreciate that let me know if you've colored your hair before the things you use how you go about it and especially how you call how you um take care of your color treated hair i really really appreciate every tips i can get because i just want to maintain the health of my hair as much as i can which i think my hair really came out really nice i don't think there's any form of any damage in my hair like i said don't forget to give don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below i really appreciate that thank you guys and i'll catch you in my next video bye guys